everyone, Lau here. Today's video is actually kind of a um, yeah, an idea that I had in my head since I started to get a, get more and more ponies. So it's going to be a toy collection video again. And um, yeah, since um, we're all more or less stuck inside, and um, I don't know, I really got into collecting my little ponies like again there were like faces in my life where I really was into it and then I just like left it a little bit like um, untouched and um, currently I'm buying so many ponies and um, my display is just like it, it just won't work anymore like I can't fit any ponies in there you see here I also have some which I have to work on and um, but I also don't want to get like new shelving. That's also like, uh, I want, really want to keep it currently in that um, one compartment here. Um, so I've got the idea that I just like uh, film this, how I try to rearrange it and make some like shelf risers. Uh, I currently have done that for my Funko Pops in my um, bedroom that are my Disney Funko Pops. And I think it looks okay. It is just made of cardboard, like uh, like packages that I get. And um, like when, when something is big is shipped to me, I kept all of those boxes. And I really want to try to make like small stairs and see how much then I can fit in um, all of that. And uh, I thought maybe that's interesting for a video if anyone else wants to like rearrange a collection. It could also be like a Star Wars collection, like. You see, I don't know if you see that, but uh, there's more or less my, my Star Wars figurines collection. And, oops. And um, it's also working for Funko Pops, so mm, let's see how much I can fit in here. Yeah, let's just start with showing you like my current uh, state. <laughs> um, this is here my um, yeah, shelf for my G4 collection, which is the smallest one but it takes up like most of the space because I have that, that giant painting or paintings uh, over there from an artist that I got at the convention. I have definitely have to get that out and then rearrange the height of the uh, compartments here. Um, yeah, here's more or less currently my like early pony collection, like uh, the early ponies, the first ones, some of the first babies. This one is what I wanted to be like my um, like neon pony, very colorful pony collection. Like there are some of the sets which are like the rock and beat ponies or the um, uh, tropical ones, and more or less all the ones which have like more like bold colors. These were more or less my pastel ponies that I like. You see, most of them are like light pink and. Um, I don't know, light blue, stuff like that. So that was that compartment. And you also can see that I have some of the play sets in the back. I just love to have something like in the back just as a decoration. Although like this is a G4 play set, it doesn't match with my G1 ponies. Or here I had a G3 play set. I definitely can't display these anymore, so I have to put these aside. This is the compartment that I have like previously made a video about. You know most of these um, guys already. Um, I'm pretty happy with that one, but I don't know how to arrange it in a different way. And here we've got like my Polly Pocket display. Okay, with a random uh, little pet shop sitting there. And then at the very bottom is actually kind of my Harry Potter display, which I definitely have to move completely out of this cabinet or of this like, um, like shelving here. I don't know where to put it. It's mainly like uh, sweets and um, like uh, Fred and George uh, Weasley themed um, with some other things, but um, I love it because it's so colorful. But actually this whole thing should just stay my um, vintage toy shelf, so I have no idea. Probably I have to put it in a box and put it, I don't know, away for now before I can figure out where what I'm going to do with that. So let's see. Um, the next thing that you will see will probably be me um, trying to put together these uh, stairs because for now I keep it in. I will just measure like the width 
and trying to do some and then let's let's see um, how I can like how how I can arrange that <laughs> so uh, I prepared everything like I measured out like how far like how wide and, and deep and high I want to have these stairs um, I definitely took some of my ponies to measure like the biggest ponies that I have so that they still fit in there and the measurements that I um, came up with is that I make three stairs like one which which is like very very small in the in the, the first row which is just 2.5 centimeters high the next one will be 10 centimeters high and the highest one will be 17.5 um, so that I have like the first row will be probably baby ponies and then adult ponies three rows that should be okay because um, the cabinets are oh, what was it well, around 40 centimeters like because the cabinets are like 30 something 37 or something centimeters like deep and um and 40 centimeters like wide so I hope that works you could really see while me like working at the table and uh, figuring out and making some mistakes and um, but these are now the three stairs that I have I just put some ponies on so you can see like um, how the size difference will be um, I think that will work out quite well because I can put the ponies nearly like like straight or a little bit like um, to the sideways and the top of the front row will be the baby ponies and the others are for adults. Um, I actually don't um, like uh, attach them like together, they're still like separate because that's ab absolutely enough, you don't have to. It's like they will they will be facing against the, the back wall of the, of the cupboard or of the um, shelves and then the ponies itself give it a little weight and then it won't um, like fall down or something like that. 
I have to do now one, two, three, four, four more of these. And I have no idea. Uh, probably I do not have enough like uh, like cardboard here, but that's it. And probably I won't show you more of the uh, crafting process because that's kind of tiring for you, isn't it? <laughs> Now, actually, the next day, I crafted those um, like uh, stairs uh, the whole day. Like yesterday, like I started like uh, in the afternoon, and I finished it like I don't know way in the evening. And um, um, they are just here down at the floor right now. Um, and I thought I make this <laughs> camera like setting. Um, which allows you maybe to see what I'm doing here because at first I will get everything out, put it somewhere <laughs> and um, then I will rearrange it. Yeah, I think I will film the whole process and then like, show it to you very fast. <laughs> glasses, some, I don't know, ice cream, uh, plastic, cups, um, old phone cases, <laughs> literally everything that I didn't really need and which was like, yeah, serving my purpose. Um, I still think it's a good idea to just use these various things to raise ponies in the back or whatever toys in the back. Um, but in my case, I just have too many right now, too many ponies and stuff, so uh, that's why I think the stair version is better. other so I would be able to see them in the back. Okay, that's hopefully passed. Um, oops, all these at the places which I marked so yeah but what I, what I actually wanted to show you is this look at this. <laughs> I didn't realize that I already have so many
more difficult than what I what I would have expected because now I need to think about which ponies go together and which are smaller and all that stuff so let's just start um, like sorting them baby ponies. These go definitely in the first row. First rows, more than one. Um, okay, let's start with these. I don't have so many baby ponies. I have like way more adults because I'm more a fan of the bigger ones. So. In case you're wondering what I'm doing, these are now the like quote unquote older ponies, so the more original ones within the collector's pose and like the earlier releases, the first unicorns, cocorns, the first and second set of the um, rainbow ponies, stuff like that. That should be go together. Yes. end of the video. Ooh, I have literally no idea uh, how this video is going to like turn out because it was just like uh, literally me crafting a bunch of stairs and then putting ponies in and out and um, probably a lot of time lapses. Um, maybe you got an idea how to like display your toys. Maybe that, but that's what you can take out of this. Or you just like to see me like uh, <laughs> rearranging my toy collection. Um, I'm mm, not 100% happy with it. 
Um, might also be because some of the shelves now look a little bit more empty. Like I really like this one because it looks very full. You can't see many of the like um, cardboard stairs. Whereas this one looks kind of empty and uh, I'm not sure if I like these cardboards. And also the ponies which are right in the back, of course, they are the less like noticeable. You can't really see them a lot. Whereas like beforehand, there weren't ponies like so deep in the back, so high and deep in the back. That's something that I maybe just have to get used to it. Also, when I'm sitting at my couch, then I'm like, not uh, not this high but like around here and then I can see those cabinets better so at least I can see that I have more space for ponies especially here and here uh, no here probably not but also so yeah let's let's see how it develops because I have already more packages of ponies here on my <laughs> here on the floor and also like in the mail so it continues <laughs> anyways thank you for watching um like you can't leave any comments because probably this has also to be like a children's video i don't know but um i plan on or maybe at this point in time when i upload it i maybe already have done it to make an instagram account that's just uh, around my toy collection so so i don't have to bother my like uh, cosplay people with all my toy stuff so that should be then separate maybe then you could comment down there um, <laughs> if anything that you would if you want to tell me about this collection like maybe like or this display maybe you have even better ideas than what I did now um, anyways have a nice day uh, see you real soon and may the force be with you bye